Walmart and StockX have began a partnership. Is this gonna be a good thing or a bad thing? Let's talk about it. Walmart spokespeople have confirmed that StockX products, mostly being shoes, are going to be available on walmart.com and the Walmart app as soon as this week, whenever you watch this video. Now this obviously makes sense for StockX, they're gonna put their product in front of more people, but StockX has already stood on its own two feet. StockX was the first resale company that reached unicorn status, billion dollar valuation, which is incredible. During the month of May alone in 2024, they had 28 million visitors online. And in 2023, StockX surpassed 15 million lifetime buyers on the app and 1.7 million lifetime sellers. But we all know that Walmart is bigger than StockX. Walmart has 255 million customers weekly in store and online. That's a lot more eyes on a lot more products. Not to mention their app has been downloaded over 1 million times per month since it launched in 2021. Now StockX is right behind them on downloads. For StockX to reach and surpass 1 million doesn't happen as often as it does for the Walmart app. And it's worth mentioning that the Walmart app has been downloaded over 2 million times per month, many of times. So how's this gonna work? I mean, we already know that if you hop on walmart.com and you search like retro Jordans, this stuff pops up. This isn't news for a lot of sneakerheads that have been in the game for a while. People had floated pictures all over Facebook groups of sneakers being available on Walmart and where they're coming from and why they're priced the way that they are. The only explanation I have for that is that there's big vendors that already have access to sell on walmart.com. Walmart has almost became like a third party marketplace for other sellers and not only just from Walmart. Whenever you hop on walmart.com, you can actually go to the retailer section on the side. It's a filter and you can select whether or not you wanna search for products that are from Walmart or from other vendors that they partnered with online. Now I'm assuming that after this week, whenever you hop on walmart.com, you can use StockX as one of those filters. Walmart also did confirm that all these listings will be cross-posted. Now I don't really know that how that's gonna work because they also mentioned in the previous article that I read that these shoes that were available on walmart.com and on the Walmart app would be pre-verified ones. So are they only going to be offering the pre-verified ones as a cross posting between StockX and walmart.com or is it gonna be everything? If it's gonna be everything, they're gonna to have to have some sort of software that adjusts the pricing along with the StockX app. It also makes me wonder what this is gonna to do to the market or what it's gonna do for sellers on StockX. Is this going to fetch a higher price or is it gonna raise the fees? Somehow Walmart and StockX have to make more money off of this for it to make sense. StockX, obviously it's appealing to them because they're getting their products in the eyes of more people. Walmart's only motive to this really is to continue growing their e-commerce. Their e-commerce has grown 30%. It was either each quarter or each year for the past four years or the past four quarters, I don't know which. Either one is impressive. To grow 30% like that over any duration is substantial growth. Obviously this partnership with StockX is their plan to continue that growth, but there's gotta be money coming and going somewhere. The thing that I'm most interested in from the seller standpoint and the buyer standpoint would be the shipping. Walmart has always had like free two day shipping and I'm wondering if that's gonna be implemented in some of the pairs that you see from StockX or if those pairs are gonna stand alone in their own retailer section on walmart.com and then charge for shipping, charge for tax, all of that. If that's the case, then the shoes would probably be more expensive to buy from walmart.com than it would be from StockX, but if they're being cross posted, I would think that they're gonna try and mimic the prices across both platforms. I'm really curious for this week, these pairs to load up, for these collector's items to load up, clothes, shoes, jewelry, whatever they wanna put on there, and start searching them and see how competitively they're priced to one another. If there are any incentives to buying on Walmart versus StockX, is Walmart gonna get a kickback from StockX if stuff sells on walmart.com and the Walmart app versus selling directly on StockX. If I'm Walmart, I'm offering something to the buyer to get that incentive, to get that kickback from StockX. So it would make sense if on walmart.com you still get that like free two day shipping for the verified sneakers. That gives a little more of appeal that Walmart is giving upfront, expecting nothing out of other than future sales. That might be something that StockX just hasn't figured out yet. They have came a long way on their shipping. That's why they've introduced the pre-verified sneakers. That's why other companies have done the same thing. I mean, who's next in the play? Is Amazon gonna pair up with Flight Club or GoDab? And what does this do to the sneaker culture overall? 
I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. Drop it in the comments below. Are you guys going to be buying sneakers from walmart.com, from the Walmart app? It sounds silly, but this is real life. Of course, don't forget to follow me on IG. The handle is the same, at AllABSneakers. If you guys are interested in some merch, I still have a very few select sizes in crewnecks and hoodies and then some hats also. If you guys throw down an order, I'm doing a fire sale. I'll give you guys steals on this merch. It's high quality stuff. The threads are really nice. I've also got some small gifts that I'll throw in with the packages. So hit me up on IG if you're interested in any merch. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching and do not forget, this is all about sneakers.